XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkerton. Steve, yes. I want to talk to you. Uh, I think it was, uh, might have been Wednesday night. I was in, in the pub. Phone goes. And Carl goes, you're watching that thing about parasites. Right. I went, no, I'm out. He went, oh. Fellow with a maggot in his head. Fellow with a maggot in his head? Yeah. And he goes, oh, no, he's pulling it out now. Oh, oh. I said, well, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll get it, I'll get it. I said, yeah, see you later. About five minutes later, I get a message on my phone. Beep, beep. I look at it. It just says, oh, no, there's a fellow with his fish up his cock now. There's a fellow with a fish up his cock? Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. Do you want to explain that, Carl? Is it one of those little ones that swim up if you're having a slash in the Amazon? Yeah. Yeah. That's weird, isn't it? But it was, it was stu like, stuff like that. It started off with, a. Uh, what does the fish do when it gets in there? Just sits there. <laughs> so why is it, why? Well, what else can it do? <laughs> no, but why does it go up there? Uh, I don't know, I didn't listen to that bit. There's a bit, there's a bit, he started off with a fella who, uh, had a bit of meat and got a tapeworm inside him. Yeah. And he grew it for however long, and it came out at the end, it was about seven foot long. On purpose? Yeah, he did it on purpose, yeah, for the, for the programme, right? I think, it, yeah. Probably slimming, isn't it? Well, I was thinking that. Could, you know, I mean, you're a fan of Waller. Could he purposely have about eight of them? <laughs> what, Rick Waller? Yeah. It's a good idea. Because, because they were saying how they, they eat, you know, a lot of stuff when they're in you, they just eat well, all Well, they of... take, they take enough so you don't die and nor do they, yeah. But, I mean, you've got to keep taking them out, haven't you? Because you'll still have the same weight, because it's got to go somewhere. So you'll have them in you. you what you got to do is, like, let them eat your meal and then take them out. Do you think worm watchers will ca <laughs> catch on? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so that happened, right? And then, uh, yeah, there was a woman with a with a maggot in her head. A woman with a maggot in yeah, her head. Yeah, just she went on holiday, it got in there somehow, <laughs> and uh, stowaway. It just, just, oh, it was, it was massive. And the thing is, it, she had a hole in her head, and she's there being interviewed with the doctor, like, and you can see it just sort of sticking its head out. Like, do you know when you see a cartoon with a a maggot in an apple? Yeah. And it looks out, and looks around like that. Yeah. Why didn't they just take it out there and then? I think they could have done, but the doctor's messing about. It's like, well, it's good for the show, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and they left it in there. Right, that's libelous. Well... That is libelous. But I found it weird. Why not just grab it? Wait, wait. Because <laughs> <laughs> there must be a reason. There must be one of those medical reasons that you don't really know about, Carl. Right. And another bit... This, this was the best one, right? <laughs> grab it! Right, there's this fella, <laughs> and he was, uh he was, he was on his bike, right, yeah. cycling, cycling to work or whatever, and, uh, he sort of sees this thing in the corner of his eye. Right? Literally in the corner of his eye? Or you mean he yeah, saw something? he just said he saw something. Saw something. He saw okay, something yeah. and thought, what's that? Yeah. So he thought, oh, doesn't matter, whatever. And he, uh, he stops off at a cafe, right, yeah. get a little, uh, little scone, the tea or whatever, <laughs> and he goes in there, and he's, he's sat down, and, the waiter comes over, he says, uh, yeah, what do you want? He says, I'll have a scone and a tea. He goes, all right then. So he goes to get it, comes back. As he puts the tea and the scone down, his face is like, what, what is that? Right? Like a look of frightenedness on yeah. his face. <laughs> right? Drops the tea and legs it. So the fella's going, what, what, what? So he legs it after the bloke and goes, what? And he says, oh, something came out of your nose. That was massive. <laughs> Sorry, something came out of the guy's all true there. because people would have watched it, so don't start saying Sorry, it didn't but happen. Hang on, I just need to clarify. The guy on I the don't, bike. I don't believe he ran away. Wait a I don't believe he legged it. I, oh. don't have, I don't believe he had a look of frightenedness <laughs> on his face, and I don't believe he said something massive came out of your nose. <laughs> Wait and, a minute. And I don't even believe he had a cup of tea and a scone. <laughs> These are the things that I think are embellished. <laughs> I don't. But who had something coming out of his nose? Was it the guy serving the scone? The one who was on the bike who, who ordered the scone. Yeah, but what it was it? It came out of his nose. Yeah, what was it? it? Came out of his nose. Right. So he goes home <laughs> and he thinks I've got to sort this out because it's not good and that. So he's. But what? It was out of his nose. What, so you mean it poked out of his nose? It didn't come out. It just said hello and then it. It was like the maggot in the head. Yeah, he just yeah. Popped, it just popped his head out. Had a look around and went back in. Why did like, the bloke? Why did the bloke <laughs> drop the tea and run? Well, it's, it's weird, isn't it? <laughs> Right, so, so, so he goes home. He goes yeah. home and he goes, oh, God, you know. So he sits in front of the mirror and he's sat there waiting. <laughs> this thing comes out. Uh, again, sort of looks round, goes back in again. So he goes, oh. <laughs> no scones. 
right? <laughs> but so he goes, I've got to sort this out. He goes to the doctors, yeah. says to the doctor, I've got something up my nose. It just keeps coming out and having a look around going back in. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't so say that. The doctors, so the doctor's like, oh, I haven't heard of that before, right? <laughs> Didn't say that. So, <laughs> so sat there. <laughs> It does it again. The doctor looks, you know, frightened again. He runs away. Yeah. He no, he's got a look of frightenedness. He, he, he had a look of medical frightenedness. <laughs> yeah. He dropped his stethoscope and legged it. No, he said. He said, "I know what it was." So what? what? So you got a leech up your nose. He had a leech about that long. What's radio? Well, how long's that? Four inches. Four inches coming out of his nose. <sighs> Next time it stuck its head out, he grabbed it, pulled it out. That's horrible, though, isn't it? Isn't it? Can I just remind people, uh, just let people know, when Carl was saying it was about that long and Ricky said four inches, he was using his fingers. Oh yeah, he didn't have his, no. Was something else there. Fell out, no. So he had a leech up his nose, how did he get a leech up his nose? I don't know, again, <sighs> that, that, I'm not that bothered about that bit. <laughs> <laughs> All the footage and stuff. Oh, player brilliant, records. Brilliant program. Yeah. It's just the same, he just sees that, he gets fast, he doesn't read on. Mm. His education is just sound bites, bites and... Uh, self-embellishment in his own head. Yeah. Well, we'll it's see, like, he gets, he gets all his news from Ananova and he just reads mm. the headline. Skin disease. We watched that, um, Carl, you know, that Carl was raving about that thing about parasites, about worms coming out of your brain and that. And I watched What is it. this? Is a TV show? Yeah, called Body Snatchers. Right. And it was pretty fascinating. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean, amazingly shot as well. I mean, it's got to win an award for photography. Yeah. And there was, uh, one bit that, um, this little girl had been bitten by a mosquito and laid her eggs and it went to the doctor. She had a lump on her neck, like a boil. And, uh, they pulled it out and it was like, like a bullet, this maggot. Oh. And it, they put it down and it was wriggling in her blood, right? But the hole left was sort of aesthetically pleasing. You know, like, like that feeling you get like, I once had an ingrown hair and I quite liked it when I pulled it out. And it's a perfect little hole. And I thought, I wouldn't mind having those as long as they sort of like healed over. What are you talking about? I don't know. It's weird, isn't it? But why would you want a hole in your body? No, I... it's got pulling something out, sort of like pulling something out of your body. It's I sort don't of know cleansing, what you're talking about. No, but it's sort of like. <laughs> this is it. You watch one program recommended to you by Carl, you've turned into Carl. <laughs> <laughs> you want a hole in your body? No, it was it was like you know like squeezing a really good sort of like spot. I mean, I haven't squeezed spots for ages, and I'd never had spots. But maybe that's it. I didn't have spots, right? And I always thought that would be nice squeezing a spot. There was a, there's this parasite right that lives in a fish, right? Mm. And what it does, um, it changes the fish's behaviour because to breed it has to get its body temperature, so it has to get into a bird. Right. What, sorry, what needs to get into the bird? The, the fish. parasite to to the parasite needs life to get into cycle, a bird. Yeah. Right. So it changes the behaviour of the um the, the stickleback, and it makes the stickleback sort of suicidal. So the stickleback doesn't flee when it sees a heron; it gets caught. Right. Because this stickleback has changed its behaviour. I was uh, and Carl didn't quite understand this. I did still you? don't really get it. I watched it, and you see like the fat fish and that, and you go, oh, it's not well. But I don't understand. Well, all it does is it has to get into a bird because it has to to breed to lay its eggs, it has to have a, a raise of body temperature, so it has to, the fish is cold-blooded, so it has to get into a bird which is warm-blooded. There's lots of things, uh, uh, there's certain things at yeah, that why, level. Why? Why is it doing that? Because it needs a, it needs the, the, uh, the temperature, it needs the, the, the heat energy for, the, for its reaction.